Hey, yeah, Stormcord here. Today, gonna be doing a bit more on the aerial zero to hero. So, what I want to work on today is actually defensive aerials, because this is where you're really gonna use your aerials early on. Is actually in defense, because it's the easiest place to do it. So, at first, I just kind of want you to practice just doing a double jump, getting up to the ceiling. You don't even have to double jump at first if that's a bit too hard, but just work on pulling yourself back and going up. Because the thing with defensive aerials is they're a lot easier generally than offensive aerials. And also, they're just a lot more useful at first. Uh, when I first started doing aerials, I found I was doing a lot more defensive aerials than I was offensive aerials. And just the main reason for this is, if you miss an aerial on offense, you're really out of position. If you miss an aerial on defense, I mean, you're probably going to get scored on anyway. It just... it. It's a good way to really learn your aerials, is to start in defense. So to do this, I'd recommend going into pro, and just get underneath the ball and just tap it up. So this one's probably not as good for it, but just practice getting underneath the ball and just tap it up. So it doesn't matter if you score it or not, I'll just score it now just because it saves a bit of time. But basically just practice your going up and hitting the ball. So this is probably probably what we're going to do today, probably not going to focus on anything else, but this is a good way to get you going in pro as well. So not in, like don't practice just doing it one way as well, practice defending in multiple different ways because this is what's going to help you overall being able to get better defensive aerials. So say you want to hit it forwards, backwards, up, just make sure like, just try and get as much control with it as you can because that's what's going to help you in the long run. The better you get at controlling where you put this ball on defense, the better you'll be at it on defense. So I mean, maybe one of the things is, um, one of the things that I heard for defending is practice just shooting, but practice missing your shot. Like, as in, you're basically shooting, but you're missing your shot. So you can even practice just smacking it above the crossbar, stuff like that, because sometimes you do have to touch it above the crossbar. It's the only way that you can actually get it out. So it's a good thing to practice too. Um, for these ones, this will be a good one for your defense, because you're going to have to go up, and just try and tap it as up as you can. That's what I'd recommend. Just try and get as big a upwards pop as you can. Now this is going to practice when you're on defense and your teammates need to get back. So your teammates are out of position and you don't know what to do. So this practices that because the higher you pop it, the more time that your teammates have essentially. So if you don't have a good position and your teammates don't have a good position, just try and pop it high because it means that they have to go up for the aerial. So if you do a slow loopy one high, they're going to have to go up for it. They also use boost to do that, so it actually is quite useful for you that that happens. So just work on popping these up. Don't worry about shooting them yet. This is just getting you used to being able to actually even hit these balls. Which is a good way to start, I guess. Because if you just start off trying to score them and stuff, it's a lot harder. Whereas this one, it's just the aim is just to hit it. So we're just trying to hit it. And then start aiming for different spots. So I might aim behind me with this one. So that one kind of went a bit to the side behind me. So I did get it behind me, but maybe not quite as behind me as I'd like. But just aim to really work on this, because this is what's going to really help you to start off with. Because being able to defend aerials, defend with aerials, is really, really useful. Because if you can't do it, you're kind of stuck on the ground for a lot of things that it's just an easy save if you can go up for an aerial. So just practice getting it in different spots, hitting it up. And this will suit you really well going forward. This will give you a lot to work with. So I'll just finish off. I'll finish off all of these. I've kind of talked about what it is going to do for you. It doesn't. I can't really say much more for it. This is just kind of what it's going to do for you. I'll just go through all of them so you can see me doing it. Um, I'll aim for the back left corner. Oh, that's not quite the back left corner. So I'll just kind of show you how I do it so that you can see. So then you have an example so that it's not quite so hard for you. So it's just, just work on uh, where you can put the ball. So the better control you have of this, the better you'll be in defense. Because at the end of the day, not letting goals in is a very easy way to win games in Rocket League. I'll put it into the far right corner. And for the final one, I'll put it in the far left corner. <laughs> yeah, basically just practice, practice more just hitting the ball as if you're defending. Because this is what's going to help you a lot more early on. If you can do a double jump with it, that's perfect. That's what you want. Um, it's good to learn it now. It's going to be easier to learn it now. But if you can't, don't worry about it too much. You can still do single jumps to get it. Um, one other thing you can do for some of these is if they're low is you can practice doing a flip But one of the big mistakes that people do on defense is they'll do a flip 
Now, this is just like, if you go upright and you do a flip, look how far away I am from the ball, I mean, from the goals. But if you just do a double jump or just a little bit of boost and you land, look, I'm ready to save another shot. I'm right here. It's, it's just better positioning to do that. Because I see a lot of people where they'll go for a challenge or something over here and they'll flip and then they're so far away from the goals that even if they hit it, if they get a bad challenge, they're just kind of wrecked. So one of the other things you can practice with uh, pro training here is to do a flip. Because there are times on defense where you're going to need to do a flip in your aerial. But I was just explaining kind of where you don't want to do a flip. But if it's just like a high aerial, you can do flips. And it's actually really good because you can sometimes place it way further away than you would have been able to place it otherwise. So this is kind of where the, what we practiced in the rookie training comes in. I don't know if this ball is too high for me to be able to flip. I'll see. Yeah, it is a little bit too high. So it's um, it's kind of a certain height. It's probably about like here that you can do your last bit of flip. So you just get used to the, the height that you can do a flip at because that's what's going to help you. So I guess I can definitely do it on this one is to just do a flip. Like that. So just you can work on just how you flip and hit the ball as well. That's another thing you can work on here in pro training for now. But the big one for today is just getting your defensive capabilities up. So it doesn't matter about scoring it. But we got, we'll worry about that next time. But for now, just get your defensive capabilities up. Because this is what's going to help you really learn aerials and improve your game overall a lot more. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. I'm Stormclaw signing out. Catch you next time. See ya.